and welcome back to part three of the Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough. We just done our first charms class and now we're on the way to the defense against the dark arts. I did add a few accessories to Darius. Darius Jokey. Just got a little paddy cap and some black gloves. And yeah, let me know if you're enjoying this series so far, you know, give uh, some feedback if you so wish, all my, my hundreds and hundreds of followers, hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands, not that it's about that at the end of the day, I'm just having fun, but yeah. I didn't realise that each quest was going to be so long, but then again, I think the game time for this is around 40 hours. If you're just blitzing through the main story, which I don't want to do, and then 100 if you wanted full, like a, a full 100%. Can't remember if it's 100 for just 100% of the game or like only the side quests no that doesn't make any sense I can't remember if it's a uh, there's another cat somewhere or the same cat probably it's a different colored cat now yeah I can't remember if it's a uh, hundred hours for a hundred percent completion of the game so absolutely everything or just the story there we go. Got it. Got it out eventually. I am still getting used to talking. Oh. To just talking more. I do like to just keep it keep it quiet when there's any dialogue or cutscenes going on. But um yeah, I'm sure I'll get more used to it as as the series goes on. I feel like I'm running around in circles. It's like it's very, it's very nice though. I have to say, the game, just the shadows and the light and then the reflection, reflections off the floor. It looks good to me. Okay, begin. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. It's not Leviosa. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Easy. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger.
Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a good Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Sorry for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Now this, I cannot lose. This is Protego. Oh. Nothing like the about. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Well, that was very right. quick. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Speak with Sebastian. Sebastian, full of himself. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm, yeah, why not? Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. Hmm. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice. Open quest log. Meet with Professor Weasley. Oh god. And track quest. Not too sure about that Sebastian fella. Downstairs. I'm not too sure about this paddy cap either, but paddy cap or flat cap, depending. But we'll keep it for the moment.
a massive. Oh, oh wrong way. Not a one of them deserves more than a <laughs> tea. Great. Clue frame discovered. Handy. What's the the chests? Actually, Rebellion. Let's keep it pushing. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Stop pressing me, Weasley. Mm. Yeah, let me. No, no, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, on. you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Thanks very much. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Um, yeah, ready to I'm go. eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, Natty. 100%. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Sweating for a butterbeer. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you. By Hogwarts professors that when completed reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be in the men in charm repair repair, which is required to complete other quests. Kill, 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 kill beans. Cats everywhere. Here oh, he is. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. 
<laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll no start on the butter. task right away, Professor. Collect a flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Dark Red Tower. Oh. This is the right area. <laughs> flying pages. Is that not, not it now? There we go. Thought it would be that. Right. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Now we're finally getting different buttons to press for spells. I was wondering when that was going to happen. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Alright, what should we do now? Story. Oh, sweet. Can I hear another page? No, it's just Ronin and his butterflies or whatever that is. See what this is. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I hey. have the time, I may look could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Well, I mean, leave it to a Hufflepuff to look at a painting that's blank and then say illuminating and Lewis. walk away. That spot must be a clue. Mm. I should look around in case it's nearby. Yeah. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? I probably should have actually. Oh, we said that travel broadens the mind. Stirred clockwise. Probably should have actually. Oh, is that what I need? Let me open. Oh, one Lumos. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. 
There we go. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Easy enough. Oh, I have to go tell her now. Lenora. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. Me too, Lenora. Me too. I don't even know if this is the way to get. Ah. Mm. Nah. Mm. That's interesting. I should probably should have marked it again. Eh, uh, oh, we're on the right way. For me? Yeah, I was. I was. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. Tell you with the way he he was running through halls. Definitely played football when he was a mother. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Mm, I think Hermione took them to classes. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Same, <laughs> not much same. the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Nice. This game is massive. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off-limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off-limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. 
I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. You're dead, ah, right? There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I still think that's such How a good little in? detail. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. The fact strange. that you can see the trestles now. Everything was so no, poor I'm George unfamiliar. bit the bullet. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. What the but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Mm -hmm. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle while he is hunting. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, no, it not. might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I feel like it was so much further away in the movies. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides map. Shops. Dun, dun, dun. All the banders around the corner. Um, I think. We will go do that now and then we'll get to the rest after. Merlin Bloom. Not him. Robin him. Why not? I'll be right with Ah, it's you. Um just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. 
But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. No, oh, and then we're just gonna kind of customize it ourselves. One style. Curious indeed. Mm, classic. Soft spiral. No, don't like that. How intriguing. Uh, I like natural. Indeed. I kind of like gray as well. How intriguing. Beach cherry. I mean, it's really Curious make a difference. Indeed. How intriguing. Fourteen inches. No, I'm already. Eh. Curious indeed. Hmm. Let's go with eleven and a half. How intriguing. Pivot. And so hard. Dragon heart string that serves as the core of the one known for producing powerful magic. The hair of a unicorn serves as the core of the one known for producing consistent magic. The feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Yeah. Stick with that. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah.
Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Very good, very good. We now have our own wand. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. And part four, we'll get the rest of this stuff done. And explore hogs made a bit and see what uh, see what's next first so yeah let me know how you're finding it leave us some feedback and I'll see you guys in the next video